Today we celebrate the achievements of the 106 master's students and 112 doctoral students who are graduating this year, many of whom will walk across this stage. So let me be the first of many to say today, congratulations. For biologists, including members of the graduating class, this is truly a golden age of basic research, disease research, and translational medicine. As a result of the biological revolution of the past two decades, a revolution with roots in discoveries by Herb Boyer here at UCSF, we can now look forward to understanding with a resolution that was previously unimaginable how the cell works and how the brain works, and how the organism develops, fights infection, regenerates itself, and ages. This revolution has also stimulated a new convergence of science and medicine thanks to the development of powerful new technologies to interrogate disease. Nowhere is this convergence more evident than in cancer research, a major area of focus here at UCSF, as well as at Genentech and Rockefeller University, the places where I've worked most recently. Building on the pioneering work of Mike Bishop and Harold Barmus, again here at UCSF, our understanding of the molecular basis of cancer broke open in the 90s and the 2000s. And this in turn has fueled the development of a first wave of targeted therapies, over 800 experimental medicines currently in clinical trials, that are now showing benefits in cancers as diverse as leukemia, breast cancer, and melanoma. And these advances are just the beginning, as we can expect that the knowledge that's gained both from the clinic uh, and from further basic research will fuel the development of even more potent and more selective drugs. And so we can expect that the face of cancer treatment will be transformed in the next two decades with greatly extended survival and even cures for many cancers. We have the opportunity to make great advances in tackling cancer and Alzheimer's disease, in dealing with energy shortages and climate change, but only if we continue to invest in generating the knowledge that's needed to enable the, the, these advances, and only if we have determination and focus and persistent and patient resolve. As a graduate student, you were given the opportunity to flourish at UCSF under the tutelage of some great faculty and great teachers and mentors. You were pushed to think beyond the obvious, to develop new approaches and ways of thinking and learning. Your training here was very special, and you'll learn that more and more as you go out into your own careers and your own paths. But as importantly as the opportunities that you have gained from your education here, I want to point out that you deserve our thanks as well. Because I often say that the graduate students are the lifeblood here at UCSF. Your energy, your creativity, your perspectives, your ideas, your challenging often uh, quite intensely challenging uh, ideas and areas for us uh, really do have our faculty and institution becoming a better and better place because of that. Your impact, whether you decide to go into teaching, research, industry, or policy, will be significant. And I'm confident that each of you will contribute in your own way to shaping the path forward. But don't forget your roots. Don't forget UCSF. Don't forget all of the fundamental core values that you've learned here. Because the greatest lesson that UCSF can impart to you is to keep learning, to keep thinking, to keep challenging yourself, and to make others better than you are. And finally, remember, you're here to make a difference, and I hope you make one.